right now. New on daybreak, a reason not to be surprised next time you see some artwork when you pull in for an oil change. And murals are going on to 13 different Jiffy Lube locations across central Indiana. And it all started with a problem that needed to be fixed. That's what News 8's Joe Melillo learned. He's live to show us one of the new murals. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you guys. It starts out as an empty white wall, but by the end, this Jiffy Lube wall will be a huge public art mural and something you wouldn't expect to see when you get your oil changed. But how did this all start? Well, it started with the problem. Like you said, Drew, Steve Sander owns 48 different Jiffy Lube locations around central Indiana. He's the franchise owner. His store in Broad Ripple was being tagged with graffiti and he needed an idea to try to stop the problem. That's when Sander called the Art Council of Indianapolis to partner with local artists and to change the perspective. You should see art like this pop up at 13 different Jiffy Lube locations, including Carmel, Lafayette Road, Georgetown Road, and 56th Street, International Marketplace as well. Also, towns like Brownsburg, Castleton, and Glendale. It's been really interesting to see how different the murals are that the artists are, are proposing to us. Some of them are very historical. The one that's going up in Brownsburg today really speaks to the history of Brownsburg. Brownsburg's under uh, a lot of redevelopment right now. There's a lot going on out there, and, and, and we wanted to help uh, the, the town remember some of its history. Well, I think we're growing for sure. I mean, I, I think we're in a state of evolution as far as public art, new galleries, new organizations, but uh, it's, uh, it's on the up. It's not on the down for sure. That was artist Billy Ray. He's talking about how Indianapolis and public art are growing in the city. You may know his work. He designed the artwork on the cans for the Sun King Brewery. So he said uh, he's using these bricks behind him as a grid system to try to almost like paint by numbers sort of thing. Billy's project here is in progress and you can see it obviously taking shape behind me. You can come by the next week or so and actually see him. He'll he'll be here asking what you can ask him questions and and kind of just get involved that way. But the project like this one and other Jiffy Lube locations are part of a bigger movement in Indianapolis. You might be able to actually see Reggie Miller go up on a wall soon, just like Kirk Vonnegut downtown. So if you see something or if you see, we say that in a negative sense sometimes, but if you see some artwork popping up, tweet at me or Facebook me. I'd love to see them around the locations and kind of pile them up and put them on my Facebook page for everyone. Okay, guys. Good, Joe. Thanks. It's a good idea. 636 right now. Uh, a woman